Showed up drunk one Christmas Eve Made mom so mad she had to leave Dad grabbed me by the collar Said, what the hell are you thinking? Another fine moment in my life Brought to you by drinking I stole an old boat from a neighbor's yard A little late night fishing Thought this won't be hard Out in the middle of the river And the dang thing started sinking Another fine moment in my life Brought to you by drinking Yes, it hasn't been all bad I think about the good times that I've had And as a matter of fact, I think I learned a thing or two I like fruit and beer don't mix And purple shots were made for chess And make a double sure it's a sheep or you start winking What's up, guys? I'm just going to do a quick box opening on a new pipe that I uh, snagged up. I got in the mail today. Yeah. Another Boswell. But uh, this was an estate pipe. I really like this a lot. Uh, I, think, I believe he's Jam's been making pipes for... 25 30 years and this pipe is about 23 24 years old so it's a uh, definitely one of his older pipes and I could it's it's like brand new I really like it a lot it's got a uh, root beer colored stem to it uh, The grain is just amazing on this. That's what sold it for me. I had to have it. It's probably not going to pick up real well down here, but uh, really nice looking pipe. Nice plateau top. It's got some unique leaves he carved in the bottom of it. But the uh, grain is what really sold it for me. What parts that aren't flame grain, straight grain, or uh, some really nice bird's eye. If you can really pick that up real good or not, but anyway, she's a beaut. So let's get this thing fired up. Just a quick video. I thought I'd break in my new pipe. We're by the fireplace. I uh, put a little clip on uh, the beginning of this or the end of this video of uh, on Skype. Me and uh, Jason McNary and uh, Pipe Nutter are always talking about the weather. And I got uh, Jason beat, of course. It's already snowed two days, and uh, we got more coming this week. But uh, it's winter time. What do you expect? I'm smoking some uh, plum pudding. I know I already showed that, but if you can see it any better over here or not. Really like this pipe. It's really light. Like I said, this thing's over 24 years old, and it's like brand new. I couldn't snag it fast enough. Basically just checking out uh, and testing this Vimeo, Vimeo and uh, I'll post this on YouTube too, but... Uh,
just checking things out. Uh, one thing I was uh, talking to somebody earlier today. Uh, some people like buying hoarding tobacco, and other people just like buying week at a time and when they run out. But uh, I like buying as much as I can when I can afford it to stock up on what I like. Another good classic example. Uh, if you like Esoterica blends, go to uh, pipeandcigars.com and uh, check out their latest prices. Oh, yeah. What normally was twenty twenty three ninety five, I believe, for their eight ounce bags of Esoterica blends. I'm not talking Stonehaven and Penzance. I'm talking everything. Look at their price now, double, double the price. How about forty nine ninety five for an eight ounce bag of any Esoterica blend? Makes you wish you would have stocked up on some that you like now, doesn't it? If it was in stock. Hopefully it's not a sign of uh, future prices to come for all their blends. But it's just a fact that uh, over time the prices are definitely going to keep going up. Nine, ten dollar, eleven dollar tins of uh, two ounce tobacco. I'd say get them while you can. Anyway, that's all I got. Like I said, I was just checking this out, testing some uh, different cameras, and uh, I'm going to show my new pipe. Talk to you boys later. Jason, got you beat, buddy. This is the second day of getting pounded. Another couple inches tonight. Tis the season. <laughs>